ladies, so this tutorial video is going to be all about filing uh, an acrylic finished nail. You're going to need a 100 by 180 um, grit file. This is good for the 100 side is good for shaping around the um, the free edge and the, the sides and um, also to lightly buff it and remove some of the excess. You're also going to need a yellow block in most cases. Um, now I personally use an e-file and the one that I use is by uh, Vogue and it's called My Manicures Professional 6400. I do use sanding belts occasionally but mostly I use the carbide bits. Those are the products that I use and I will be right back to show you how I file the nail. Alright, so I am back and I'm going to begin after the nail has been, the uh, acrylic has been applied to the nail as normal. Um, there are links down in the description box and also in my basics playlist on my channel of how to apply acrylics. Um, once the acrylic has been applied, I'm going to gently, if it's on natural nail, gently release the, the uh, sidewall from the um, any acrylic that ha might have... Um, seeped over the nail onto the skin which will cause lifting so very gently release that and file straight out and then I'm going to be filing the free edge now there's a couple ways to do this to file the free edge if you want to do a basic square you're going to go perpendicular so you'll see the nail this is flat and this is flat on the free edge to do a swivel a squared oval, you'll put it at an angle. Let's see if I can get this. Slightly at an angle. This is going to be this is going to be straight across. Just gonna be square. To do squoval, you'll slightly go underneath the nail. And for oval, you'll go all the way under and just basically we file those um, edges down. And I just make sure, go under just a couple times on each side to make sure that the corners aren't too sharp. So I'm going to take my e-file. I'm going to turn this on a slightly lower speed. And I'm using the cone carbide tip and this is going to get around the cuticle area and the sidewall. So, so I'm going to very carefully put this at an angle which is going to be very flat. And this is going to get up to that cuticle area very carefully. You want to try to go all in one direction, all the way across. And just be very gentle around the cuticle area and around the sides. You want to make the cuticle area flush. As you guys see that, I'm going very flush. And don't keep the drill in one place too long because that will start to burn your nail. So when I start to shape the shape that I want and I've kind of already accomplished is um, very shallow, thicker, and shallow again in the free edge. So you're going to want kind of a hump in the middle and that's what's, oops, that's what's going to um, be your strength is a small line area. <laughs> is what I'm looking at from the side. I do in the middle. I kind of get that basic shape going right down the middle. This is very similar to where I actually got this uh, this set from Young Nails. So using the Young Nails method. And just try to go in one direction if you can. very coarse grit right now just to get started you're gonna get rid of any lumps or bumps you might have so definitely always check to the side see how your your thickness is coming along another thing to look at is directly down the barrel of the nail 
So I'm going to try to turn it this way so you guys see what I'm looking at. So when I'm looking at it, I want to try to, if you imagine this is straight, oops, if this is looking at you, if you're looking at it, you want to look down, have your customer, your client, or yourself turn their hand around, and you want to look from here down. So you want to look at it now just like this to look at the thickness look all the way around every angle. I'm going to continue to file to get the shape that I want. Okay, so I have my basic shape right now. Um, it is, look sideways. It is that thickness I was talking about, thin, thicker, and back to thin. So it's got a little hump. All right, now I'm going to change out my bit. Now make sure that this is off. In the off position, what I do just to be safe is also turn off the motor itself. So I'm just gonna pull it out. And I'm going to change my bit to a large barrel. This is a medium coarse uh, grit. Turn my motor back on. Turn this on and I'm going to continue to shape. And this is going to start to even out any lines that you might have created by using the coarse um, bit. But it will also help to thin it out some more. Okay, so I pretty much got the nail down to the thickness that I need. So I'm going to turn to the side and let you guys see. It is a very curved nail. As you can tell, the C-curve is it's pretty curvy. Um, so it does look a bit thicker than it actually is. If I actually turn it this way, without the shadow being there, you're able to see it's actually not that thick. So uh, one other thing that I'm going to do with my e-file before I put this away is I'm going to change the bit and I'm going to use one of these small cones, very small cones to remove any acrylic or um, that has seeped underneath the nail itself. So I'm going to change the bit, flip the hand over. This is the area I'm talking about. There's a little bit right there that I seeped over, so I'm gonna put it on about medium speed. And I'm going to turn on my e bomb and I'm going to gently file that away and also thin out just a little bit. So I have filed that out and I have made it a bit thinner, as you could tell. It's a little bit thinner. I gotta get a close up of this or let you guys see this a little closer. Alright, so here is the thickness of the nail. Here 
is the general nail shape. And you'll see that it goes from thin to thicker to back down to thin. We turn it sideways. So to finish this off, to finish this off, all you're gonna do is go back to your 100 by 180 file. Once you touch up the sides if needed, just here you're going to gently buff, and you would do this actually um, you follow the same type of motion if you are doing it just by hand. You know, start on one side in one direction going down typically go over this way and then follow up on this side and then in the middle so I go side around the cuticles you're going to go in a horseshoe shape other side going up to the middle and then down the free edge. Alright, move any dust. From here you would normally put a UV gel top coat on or if you're doing a regular um, a regular polish or just a regular top coat without UV you start to buff. I like to buff down off the free edge from the cuticle area down just the same when you're filing regularly be mindful of the cuticle area all the way around make sure to get the free edge so it's not doesn't have a harsh edge both corners this won't really take much off it's just going to smooth it out remove any dust What I then do is I take a spray bottle of half alcohol, rubbing out or isopropyl alcohol, 7%, and then I take half water. And I dull this down. I add water to, um, in case there's any nicks or cuts or anything, it won't burn you or someone else. So I gently wipe everything off. You can also wash your hands at this point. This is just easier for me. I feel like it gets it cleaner and I don't have to dry off my complete hand. Kind of lazy. <laughs> okay. So, nail has been dried and now it is ready for paint. So, what I normally do is before applying any type of regular paint, if I am applying paint, I will add a pop coat just to seal that in usually a UV top coat just to kind of act as a ridge filler it also gives you, prepares the nail a smooth surface for when you're applying polish so do a quick coat seal the free edges right, and allow that to dry um, I do have a nail polish and a dryer that I have fallen in love with. It's called from Orly and it's spritz dry and it is basically alcohol, uh, vitamin E oil, and acetone. There's also some other oils in there and different chemicals, but um, yeah, it works really well. You just spritz it really lightly from four to six inches away, it says. Just one spritz and it instantly dries the. No polish. Okay, so here is the finished nail once it's been um, filed in shapes and a top coat has been applied. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe if you would. I'll talk to you next time. Bye, ladies.